Hi, this is Bill, and this is Finest Travel Beat with Angela and Bill. Today we're going to take you to Nassau in one of our favorite pastimes, which is watching pier runners as the ship is about to leave. If you're a fan of pier running videos, this is one of the best we've had. There were multiple groups over a long period of time going to multiple ships, and some had no idea where they were going. So we'll talk you through, discuss a little bit about pier runners, and Stick around because our favorite pier runner of all time is going to be shown at the end of this video. So thank you for watching it and we hope you enjoy. Again, everybody, thanks for watching. This video was taken last month in Nassau in the Bahamas. As you can see, there's a new pier that's uh, nearing completion, which did not add to the confusion because it was actually very easy to navigate. Now, there were three ships in on our end, the Royal Caribbean Independence of the Seas, the Freedom of the Seas, and the Grandeur of the Seas. Adding to a little confusion is the fact that all of these ships were departing at 4.30 p.m. Now, to keep this video reasonably short i'm gonna to have to trim out a lot of what we see but this went on for almost a half an hour as you can see this gentleman there was uh running and then figured he had it and then people started yelling at him so he decided to run again some other people behind him were uh, a little less concerned but again this is all after the all aboard time and i guess he figures he doesn't want to be the last person on the ship because they may pull up the ramp and leave his friend behind <laughs> now we're watching piranhas for quite some time like i said at the beginning of this this was absolutely epic this was the most we have ever seen in one spot and they came in waves over a half an hour so normally you might think that it was a late excursion when you have a large group of maybe 15 to 20 people coming in at once no these were groups of two and three four and five going to different ships at different times who all obviously couldn't figure out how to work a watch from senior frogs. Now, Angel and I are paranoid about being left behind on a ship, and we're equally paranoid of being yelled at and made fun of by people like myself and Angela. So we always double check. We make sure we leave plenty of time if we need to get a taxi or some transportation back. We leave time for if there's some sort of issues or problems on the way, traffic, uh, things like that. So we give ourselves, generally, if the all-aboard time is 4.30, we like to be back on the ship somewhere right around 3.30. As we watch some of the people saunter back to the ships, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button. That way you can see other peer runner videos that we have posted and will post. And additionally, all our other content on all-inclusive resorts and cruises also please hit that like button and drop a comment below if you've ever seen somebody left behind on a cruise ship we haven't seen that yet we've seen people yelled at and got back kind of late but we've never seen anybody actually left behind now if you're fairly new to cruising or you haven't been at a port like Cozumel or Nassau which are notorious superior owners Wait about a half an hour after the all aboard time, and if you hear a PA announcement announcing a name to contact guest services, go to your window, go to your balcony, because you're most likely going to see a peer runner. The announcements are made for people that have not swiped back onto the ship. The ships always know who is on board and not supposed to be on board by swiping in and out of the ship. What will happen is if the ship is going to leave, they will go to your room, they will check your room safe for passports or other important documents, and they will leave them with the port officials for you. Now, should you be running late getting back to your ship for whatever reason, make sure you call. Have the phone number of the ship or the port agent with you at all times. That way they know where you are and whether or not they're going to wait for you. I'm going to pause commentary here so you can hear the roar of the crowd.
end the battle. Unfortunately, it didn't appear that ship's security or their officers were quite as amused as the rest of us were. Like I said, this was what? epic. There were just so many people running late to these ships, it wasn't funny. Now, that brings me to another question for you all. Is it actually peer running if you use a golf cart to get back to your ship instead of running? And is that considered cheating? Inquiring minds want to know. On a little more serious note, this is a reason why it's always a good idea to be traveling with a passport. You can, in most cases, take cruises without a passport using a birth certificate. However, if you get left behind for any reason, whether it be late from an excursion, too many drinks at Mr. Sancho's, or you have some sort of medical emergency, the only way you'll be able to fly back to the United States is if you have a passport. And yes, you should have a passport for your young child. If you are a peer runner that has a jogging stroller that you're also using. Now, like I told you at the beginning of this video, this peer running exhibition, extravaganza, Olympics, whatever you want to call it, had everything. It had multiple groups. Like I said, I cut a lot out of what we saw just because it was duplication people on golf carts, strollers, and this guy coming up here, who is my personal favorite. He's got a kind of nice light jog going on there. He's going to make his ship. He thinks, no problem. Pretty good shape. Good pace. Oh, wait, wait, no. Nope. He's going to slow down a little bit. He figures he has it. Maybe he thinks a Pierre Walker video is not nearly as embarrassing as a pure runner video. Who knows what's going through his mind, but I guess he figures he has it. He hasn't heard the ship's horn yet, so he figures he's pretty safe. As you can see, he keeps looking over to the right. He sees that the Liberty of the Seas ramp has not been retracted yet. Nobody's screaming at him from that area. So he's going to take his time, relax, walk over, slows down to a nice walk oh nope starts to jog now until he realizes that he is whoops running to the wrong ship <laughs> yes folks he was running to the liberty of the seas when he was on the grandeur of the seas well, as we watch him walk back to his ship, and spoiler alert, everybody made it back to their ships fine. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you've liked this video, hit the like button, leave comments below, subscribe if you'd like to see other videos. Again, thankfully, everybody made it back to the ship, and the most serious thing was probably a hangover from too much time at Senior Frogs and Nassau. So, on behalf of Angela, thanks for watching, and come join us on our next adventure. Bye-bye, everybody.